everyone, everybody, it is Tuesday and I'm in a flare up. I'm just so exhausted from doing what I did yesterday. You know, people take it for granted. Oh, yeah, you people that don't have fibro will think, oh, it's easy to get up, go do this, that, and the other. Full of energy. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> Whatever they can, and then people with a chronic illness wakes up thinking, Oh my lord, not another day. Please, not another flare up. <sighs> you know what? I'm getting fed up. I'm getting fed up with, with, with the illness. I try not to cry because it's getting to me a little bit today. People, like, we take it, what's that word now you get this little bit of energy and you think oh I could just do this activity and I'll be fine no it doesn't it, it knocks, excuse the noise in the background it's people outside cutting the grass um, I've got the windows are slightly open and what's this about when you open the bloody window the flies have, uh, I'm sort of sat there waiting on the side of glass oh quick family one fly comes in and the whole rest of the uh, troop come through yeah, anyway guys, this is just me today and just thought pop on. I'm just having a cup of tea and then I'm going to have to go and have a lie down. There's no, I can't function today. I really, the pain is just horrendous. The fatigue is something else. I already did it yesterday. <sighs> Does anyone else feel like this with fibro? Does it, is it getting to you as well? I don't know, it's just an album to live with and then with mental health on top of that, it's like, you just don't get a break. So people with fibro or other chronic illnesses might understand how I'm feeling. Pop a comment in the box below guys and let me know. Does it make you feel really depressed? Knowing that you can't do what you used to be able to do. Um, I tried to relax in yesterday and do a bit of colouring, but I could only manage like five minutes of that and my hands were just like, oh, no, 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 no. I did, I have uploaded my video a, a bit ago from, uh, I don't know, from yesterday's thing, so that's up now. Um, to go over and check it out. I can't remember what I've talked about, to be honest. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to go and enjoy my cup of tea. And then I'm gonna lay down and I'll catch up in a bit. Guys, I've... <laughs> I don't know how much more I can take this pain. Pain and tiredness is getting to me and trying to stop myself crying. That's why I'm talking like this. Um, I can't, I'm struggling to sleep. Um, so I'm trying to watch a bit of TV, but my head keeps going, woohoo, funny. Um, I don't know if any, anyone with fibro suffers with like blurry vision and uh, your speech, but I feel so embarrassed. Don't worry, guys, I've not had a drink, I'm not drunk or anything like that. If you're watching my video and you don't suffer with fibro, it's this is part of fibro that people don't see that doesn't suffer with it and it is impacting me today i'm feeling very i won't say sorry for myself well people probably have to say that but I generally i feel really very down and low today sorry i'm trying not to get myself upset but it's hard i can feel feel it welling up in my eyes I just wish people, wish doctors could find a cure for it because who wants to live like this for the rest of their life? I know the doctors will say, oh, exercise, keep active, eat this, don't do that. I was, you know what I mean? It's, it's easy if it's said and done. Doctors are so, so, pe oh, I don't know, I can't get my words out of They gaslight and gaslight you and don't really want to help. There's one doctor that helps, helps me, and for love and money, I cannot never get in to see him. 
doctor on his left or not. But he's the only doctor that understands what I'm going through. <sighs> Sorry. I just wanted to come on and show you this is a power of fibro that not a lot of people see getting, getting to me. I can't do the things I want to do. My housework is like, well, it's not messy or dirty. I just I haven't got the energy to do it. I have got a cleaner coming in once a month just to give it a deep clean. Um, so that might just help a little bit. The I think once the cats are neutered and the house is back, you know, like decorated and stuff, I just like, oh, I think things will calm down, but I'm feeling really down today. It's getting to me, the pain, and then the fatigue. I just want, I just wish I were normal. What is normal anyway these days? I'm cream crackered, you know what I mean? <sighs> Sorry guys, I, I, I just wanted to come on and just say, look, this is how it is. It's life, isn't it? We've been dealt a hand with that, ain't yeah, it? Good. Sorry. So tired. So tired. And I'm very emotional right now. <sighs> Please let me know, guys, in the comments below. Do you ever feel like this? I literally struggling to stay awake. And then you've got the government that are trying to get people that are disabled or whatever it is, trying to push them back into work. How the hell are we meant to work like this? We get sacked straight away, won't we? Jesus, sorry, absolutely wiped out. <laughs> sorry. Sorry guys, I've just been babbling on on the impress record. I've been babbling on for the past four minutes and I'm like, why, eh? I had to stop it and I thought, oh, I'm not gonna press start. <sighs> anyway guys, I do feel a little better than I did earlier. I was like, I still feel a bit, but brain fog and brain farts keep happening and I keep forgetting so I'm on the school run sat waiting and I'm, I've got about an hour I think I just had to come out early just because I needed diesel so I filled up the car well it's not full it's half a tank <laughs> um, so that's all filled so I have to worry about that managing to get to my appointment tomorrow um, so guys please let me know if you like my videos because i've got okay i've got this email and i don't know if it's a scam or it's real so now it's made me feel really crappy this is why i always ask please like my like my videos and comment so i know whether i'm doing a good job or and now when i've got that email i'm really i'm thinking is it that crap now you probably got some of you are like, yeah, yeah, it's crap. <laughs> Let me know where I'm going wrong. I just don't know where I'm going wrong. And obviously I'm an overthinker and I, pa I get paranoid a lot. And then I'm not, you know what I mean? This is why I say at the end of my videos, please can you like, subscribe, press the notification bell and just maybe share my videos. Because it helps, it does help with health and and it does help push out my videos to other parts of the world or whatever. I can't, I've got to down, man. It's spread out outside and I'm quite, I don't want to take my jumper off, but then if I do, my t shirt's going to come up with it. <laughs> uh, and I'm in a tight spot. Um, but yeah. Oh, pardon me, sorry. Pardon me. Pardon me. Sorry, I just had to have a drink a bit ago. I don't know what it is, I'm really thirsty at the minute. Constantly needing to have a drink and, uh, yeah, scoffing my face like, oh, tomorrow, like, especially at night time. Does anyone else do that with fibro or, or mental health? Or is it just me? I get up in the night quite a few times and I go, instead of going to the toilet where I need to go, 
so I'm just adjusting this, um, where I need to go. I go into the kitchen and find whatever, and then I go to, <laughs> and then I go, start munching it, go for a pee, wash my hands, and then go to bed. And then I'm finding myself getting up again within an hour, doing the same thing. I don't know. I'm trying my best to diet. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna get ups I'm getting upset with myself all the time. Now I'm, I'm like stressing because someone that I know is having an operation today, so I don't know, you know what I mean? It's like, I hope it goes well and stuff like that. I just don't know. Guys, let me know though, please, in the comments below. Even like it. <laughs> just so I know what I'm doing. Or even tell me where I'm going wrong. Because that email I received, it came directly to my personal email. Now I put a different, I set, I set up a different email address specifically for YouTube, for people that watch me to contact me. And it's in my description, uh, is it not description? You know where I wrote my name in, in that bit? If you press that, you'll see my email. Like if you want to inquire about us, I mean, yeah. So I don't know where I'm going wrong. You need to let me know because I'm starting to get <laughs> worried whether to carry it on. Where am I going wrong? And I'm researching different things to talk about um, and stuff. And I'm like, why is it? I'm talking about the same thing like someone else is talking about. And they're getting more views than where I am doing. Sorry, I'm just ranting on because it's starting to bother me. And I know you guys do comment. Some of you do comment and it just means the world to me. Then I know. I mean, I like interacting with we we. Uh, so, yeah, I do really need to think this through because I, I personally don't feel like I'm doing a good enough job. And today is just one of them days where fibro has hit me like a ton of bricks. And I'm quite emotional, to be honest. I've even done a few TikToks. I don't usually do TikTok videos talking and a few, I did a few on there and I'm like because I got a few, I don't have overly low I don't tend to go on Insta, I do have an Instagram page and I do a Facebook and I do have TikTok so I don't know whether should I put my accounts on here I just don't know um, because I don't really go on Instagram and I don't really it's occasional that I would upload, but it's always the animals. Same with TikTok, it's always something to do with fibro or animals or life in general, like I do here. But I feel more confident to do my YouTube than I do the other videos, if you know what I mean. So let me know, guys, in the comments below, where am I going wrong? Do you actually like watching me? <laughs> I don't know. What would you like me to talk about? Because I do community posts sometimes. I, I have put down what you would like me to talk about so yeah anyway guys i've been babbling on for five minutes so i will catch up with you in the next video please don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell so you don't miss any further uploads and i'm not winking it's the sun that's blaring into my eyes i'll catch up with you soon enjoy the rest of your day in the sun whether it's barbecue or just chilling and relaxing or whatever i'll see you